In this guide, we'll cover how to create beautiful and versatile designs for your web projects using the latest PineGrow AI Assistant. Let's get started by creating a new project. For AI generation, Tailwind CSS is the best choice because it includes everything directly in the HTML. Since there are no external style sheets for the AI to manage, the cognitive overhead is significantly reduced. Select the Tailwind framework, and then we need to save this page first. Create a new folder for your project, give it a name, and save the index file there. Once saved, open that folder as a project. Before we begin, there are a few prerequisites to ensure we get the best possible results. First, activate the design panel. This gives the AI assistant the ability to customize the default Tailwind theme, including fonts and colors, ensuring everything is neatly managed within the system. Next, let's switch over to the AI assistant panel, which is where most of our work will take place. At the bottom of this panel, you will find the selector, which determines the context for our AI tasks. For creating full designs like we are doing today, we should use the Smart HTML Edit action and ensure we are in the Pages mode. This mode allows the AI Assistant to efficiently edit the entire page structure and even manage multiple pages within the project. Now let's open the settings. A new feature here is Image Generation, which allows us to create custom images for our project instead of using generic placeholders. We will use the Nano Banana model. You can choose between Open Router or Google as your provider. For the text model settings, we also have a new built-in option for the Google API. However, based on recent testing, the direct Google API can be inconsistent. So I recommend using Open Router. Open Router acts as a unified gateway, allowing us to access all the top AI models with a single account. Right-click on the model name to toggle the list of available models. We are going to use Google's Gemini 3 Pro, accessed via Open Router. This is currently the most capable model for web development. It offers superior creativity and avoids the repetitive design patterns often seen with older models. We are starting with a completely blank page, which I've found to be the best starting point. From here, there are several ways to generate designs, and I will show you all of them. The first and simplest method is to just directly describe what we want. I'll enter a prompt for Moss and Pine, an interior design firm specializing in bringing nature into office spaces. Click to start, and the AI assistant will get to work. It will now start planning the implementation and structuring the project. You can see it working through the tasks, fetching the current design theme and preparing the content. It is also generating custom images for the hero section and details. This process can take a moment, so we will fast forward through the generation phase. Notice how it modifies the design panel settings, applying new colors and fonts dynamically. Because we are using the smart editing mode, it selectively updates the HTML body and attributes. This results in a very fast build process. Let's look at the result. It has created a complete landing page with a cohesive theme that looks quite nice. If we look at the design panel, we can see the custom color palette and font families it established for us. A major benefit of this workflow is that these variables are live. You can easily tweak a font family or color here, and it instantly updates across the entire project. Following up on the current task is highly efficient because the AI context is preserved, and providers often cache the input tokens. Let's expand the site by asking it to create a portfolio page. Since we are in pages mode, the assistant can generate entirely new HTML files, not just edit the current one. The page is done, but if the layout doesn't render immediately, don't worry. Simply clicking the Update Design button or refreshing the view usually resolves any display glitches. 
Now we have the portfolio page, so let's check the navigation links. That was the first approach, direct prompting to build a multi-page site. Let's save this and move to the second method. We'll start fresh with a blank project, again with Tailwind and the design panel active. Open the library panel and look under the design category. Select the create design board command, which is a powerful tool for exploration. The assistant asks what we want to build. I'll use a prompt for a Moss and Pine website, but this time, let's make it a kid's movie site about characters made of moss. Instead of building one page immediately, the design board will generate four distinct visual directions for us to choose from. It creates a dedicated design board HTML file where it will present these unique style concepts. Here is the result. We have four distinct options, Magical Cinema, Playful Tunes, Whimsical Storybook, and Organic Eco. Each option includes a generated hero image, a specific color palette, and a typography style to help us visualize the final look. We can even mix and match these styles. I like the storybook vibe of number three and the organic feel of number four, so let's ask the assistant to create a new option that combines them. Here is option five. It successfully merges the styles with some very interesting character illustrations. However, I think I still prefer option three. To proceed, simply tell the assistant to go with three. The assistant will now take the design tokens from option three, the colors, fonts, and imagery, and build the full landing page. It has populated the sections with the traveler's characters, a review section, and a footer, all matching that whimsical storybook style. And just like before, the design panel is fully populated with the colors and fonts from our chosen design. Now for the third and final method. We'll reset to a blank Tailwind project one last time. This time we'll start with an image. Open the image browser, switch to Unsplash, and search for Watermelon. This bright one looks perfect, so let's select it. With the image selected, simply instruct the assistant to create a project inspired by this image. And just like that, it generates a summer state of mind landing page. It analyzed the image to derive the color palette and the overall energetic theme. We've explored three powerful ways to build unique websites using PineGrow AI. I hope you found this guide useful.